Today we're taking a look at a budget action camera called the Vantop Moment 3. This camera was sent to me by Vantop in exchange for a review. So let's see what a $50 4K action camera gets you. Is this a serious contender in the action camera marketplace? Stick around to find out. We'll start off with a quick unboxing. I'm actually quite impressed with the packaging this comes in. It feels sturdy and it's a nice option to hold the thousands of mounts you get. It also comes with two batteries, a 32GB SD card, a remote, a classic waterproof housing, and the camera itself. Here it is side by side with the GoPro Hero 4. Nearly identical in size, but the van top feels much lighter and less durable. This package includes everything you need to start capturing your moment. Please enjoy as I recreate a radical moment from the Amazon product page. Let's go ahead and hit the trails and see some footage, shall we? Oh, it looks so jittery. For this test, I'm filming in 4K at 30 frames per second, with everything else set to auto. I also added a windscreen to try and salvage the audio. Uh. <laughs> For comparison purposes, I set my GoPro to auto as well, but I'm filming in 2.7K 30 frames per second, because my Hero 4 Silver can only do 4K at 15 frames per second, and I'm not intelligent enough to mess with different frame rates. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. Uh. I'll let the footage speak for itself, but it's pretty much on par with what I expected for $50. The image looks pixelated, the colors seem off a bit, the audio is muffled, and movement seems jittery. I was afraid of people coming down too. I... You right there? Ah! Ah! Yes! I did it! Ah! Alright. There we go. If you just carry your speed and just roll right up it. Who on Chris? This is your moment. Yeah. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. The van top also doesn't have an option to adjust your field of view, so it's far narrower than the GoPro. Yeah, well not that hard. <laughs> Let's compare the same lines at Flat Rock Ranch between the van top and the GoPro so you can see the difference for yourself. right here. Let's now try out some static shots to see if that's any better. Since the camera isn't moving, it gets rid of that shaky, jittery feeling, and it almost provides usable footage. Almost. Now before this all sounds completely negative, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Van Top Moment 3. Pros. It's 50 bucks. 
If you're on a budget and want to dabble in action cameras, this may be a great option for you. Or if you have young kids that want to have an action camera, I'd rather give them this than a $400 GoPro. I like that it has threads on the bottom of the camera so I can easily mount it to a tripod without any additional accessories. I think the remote is a cool addition, although I could only get it to start recording and not stop. It's also confusing because the gray button starts a video while the red button takes a photo. Stop recording. You think red would start a video? Stop. No. Stop, please. I also like that it comes with pretty much every attachment you could ever want. I only used one so far to mount to my top two for those sexy thigh shots, but I do appreciate the options. Battery life is similar to the GoPro, so you can expect similar record times. Uh, in this test, it's about four minute difference. It's fairly simple to use. It does not have a touchscreen, but navigating the menus is straightforward with the three buttons. I did discover that driving mode automatically starts recording once you turn the camera on, so I had a few hours of footage of my kitchen counter. This thing would make a pretty great dash cam if you just plug it into your car and let it record. Cons. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the obvious, the video quality. Again, you get what you pay for, so if you're expecting oh, cinematic quality it. for 50 bucks, you need to check yourself. The audio is also pretty terrible. Um, a lot of the times I didn't even want to listen to it, I would just mute the footage. Uh, if you do have an external audio source, I highly recommend that. I'm testing the audio. The standing right behind the camera. While I can't comment on this yet because I've only had it for a couple weeks, I'm concerned about the build quality. It feels light and kind of cheap, so I think if I dropped it, it would just explode. Um, if I still have this camera in a couple months, I'll do a follow-up to see if it's still working. While I can't recommend this camera to someone who regularly posts to YouTube or is serious about making videos, I will say it could make a decent first camera to someone on an extreme budget or a child. I think a young kid would be stoked to get one of these and fiddle around with it. And if they break it, you're only out 50 bucks. I've been interested in having a second camera to get other angles, which I experimented with a bit. But for me, the video quality isn't there. I really appreciate Vantop reaching out to me and sending me this camera. I hope you, the consumer, find this review useful and enjoyable. If you are interested in purchasing the Vantop Moment 3, I've left a link down below for you. You can often find used GoPro 4s for around 200 bucks. Um, if you're willing to save a little bit more, I would recommend going that route. If you absolutely can't wait and you're okay with the cons I've listed and the video footage looks okay to you, then this is the camera for you. If you did enjoy this video, do me a big favor and click the thumbs up button. And while you're in the habit of clicking stuff, you might as well subscribe too. A new adventure on wheels awaits you weekly, and we'd love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching, and until next week, stay rowdy within reason. Oh my god. Go this way.